Hello, dear students of class 6. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about lesson 30 from your English for today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. Are you listening? Okay. After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to, number one, recognize English sounds. Number two, recognize word and stress on words in sentences. And number three, read aloud with proper pronunciation, stress and intonation. Has this ever happened to you? You are talking to someone but they seem confused? It might be because of your pronunciation. Now, pronunciation can be problematic if you don't use it correctly. For example, Onik is trying to say, my father is always in the sea because he works in a ship. Okay, so think about it. If he says it incorrectly, like, my father is always in the sea because he works in a ship. So this will make no sense because ship means, look at this picture, ship means this one and sheep means this one. So we can say good pronunciation is very important for good spoken communication. Okay. So let's see more examples. I want to hit the peak of a mountain. What do you want? I want to light the path in the dark. So listen again. Hit. How we pronounce? Hit. Peak. And here, path. And this one? Dark. So think about these four words. When we utter this word hit, we take short time. But think about this. We haven't said pick. We say it pick. So it takes long time. And again, when we utter this word, we say path. That means it also takes long time. And what about this? Dark. So we take short time. So it is clear to you, I think, some vowels take long time and some vowels take short time. So see another example. I need to pick some stuff to cook this talk. Do you want anything? Nothing much. Just soup to heat up. So listen carefully again. How we utter these words? Pick. We take very short time. Pick. We never say pick. Certainly you remember. If we say peak, that is peak, different sound, different utterance. So it is actually short. And what about this? Stuff is also short. What about this? Duck is also short. And what about here? Heat. It actually takes long time. So let's see another conversation. It's getting dark but the school staff is still in the meeting. They're working really hard this year. So listen carefully again. The word staff, it takes long time to utter. We never say stuff. We say staff. And Hard. So these two words takes long time. 
So from these conversations, it is clear that some vowels take long time to utter and some vowels take short time to utter. So now we will discuss more about short vowel and long vowel. Now listen carefully and hear the difference between these two piles of sound. Short vowel sound, long vowel sound. So see the first short vowel sound. Hit, pick, duck, stuff. Very short. Hit, pick, duck, stuff. Very ears, long vowel sound. Heat, peak, dark, stuff. So can you tell me the difference between the sounds? Yes, you're right. This pile of sound is short and this pile of sound is long. Have you also noticed for each of the words, it is the vowel which is changing its sound or pronunciation? I bet you have. In English language, every vowel, A, E, I, O, U, has two different sound. One is long vowel sound and another is short vowel sound. And today, we will confine our discussion to the vowel O. Okay, so first is long vowel sound O. If there is a silent E at the end of a word, O makes long vowel sound. Whenever this humble O appears in a word, it looks around to see if there are any other vowels. If O says a silent E at the end, then O makes long sound. Long O sounds like O. For example, hope. Here O is with a silent E at the end, so it sounds like hope. Next, bone and mope. So similar rules. Ending the silent E and the O is long vowel. Yes. Now short vowel sound. If O is the only vowel in the word, it takes short vowel sound. So we can say sometimes in a word O is the only vowel. For example, if E leaves the word hope, it will become another word and their O will be only vowel. In this case, O takes the short to sound, which goes like O. Oh. Yes. Let's see. Hop, bon, mop. Yes. This is called short vowel sound hop bun mop diphthong have you noticed the long o vowel sounds mentioned earlier started in one position of the mouth and end in another within the same syllable if you haven't repeat with me one more time oh here the lips are always rounded while pronouncing, but at the end of the O vowel, the tongue moves up a little bit, so we produce the vowel as O. This is called a diphthong. So a diphthong is a vowel sound that involves movement of the tongue from one position to another. Diphthongs come into play usually because of vowel working in conjunction with another vowel or semi-vowel. For example, home, road, phone, crow. Sometimes diphthongs are used with just one O vowel present. For example, 
Go. Oh. So how can you fix your pronunciation? You can always look at a dictionary. In a dictionary, it tells you how to spell pronunciation using a script like this. So this looks strange. What is it? This is known as IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. You know what? You already know it. If you ever see this sign, L, that means you need to pronounce O like O, or diphthong O or long O, just like in the word home, hope, go. If you see this sign, O, uh, that means it's a short O sound like this. Just like in the word mop, hop. So it is really easy. Okay, now practice session. Activity one. Listen carefully and repeat after me. Then underline the short vowel sounds from the words below. Robe, road, rub, note. Bowl, boat, cake, coat, old, not, closed, gold, rod, throw, snow, window. So, I hope you repeat after me. Now quickly analyze the short vowel sound from these words. I think this one, because according to the rules, we know that it doesn't end with silent T. So it has only one vowel, O. Oh. So it is short vowel, rub. Okay, what can be the other? Boat, never. Cake, no. Coat, no. Old, never. Not, exactly. Only one vowel, not. So it is short vowel, closed, never, gold, no, rod, exactly. It is the short vowel, throw, snow, window, they are the long vowel, O. Oh. So we get only three words as short vowel sound. What are they? Rub, not, rot. So let's go to the another practice. Activity 2. Listen carefully and repeat after me the words listed below. Phone, bow, hope, home, stove, close, coke, note. Now what we need to do? Now we need to read the following passage and choose a word from the list to fill in each of the blanks in the sentences. So let's read out the passage. I was waiting for my friend Sheila, but since she was late, I thought I would just go to the bookstore and get some stationery from there. But before leaving gap, I left the following gap next to the again gap. Okay, rest of the lines are here. Sorry, I'm going out. Won't take long. I have left two cans of dash and a dash of fruits on the table. There is a box of biscuits near the bed. Don't forget to dash the lid of the box tightly. If you want tea, the kettle is on the dash. Full stop. Dash to be back in half an hour. So, let's solve it. So, in this section, what will be the answer? But before leaving home, exactly. Before leaving home, I left the following note next to the phone. Yes, sorry, I'm going out. Won't take long. I have left two cans of 
coke and a bowl of fruits on the table. There's a box of biscuits in the other bed. Don't forget to close the lid of the box tightly. If you want tea, the kettle is on the stove. Hope to be back in half an hour. So, I think you got the idea how to pronounce the diphthongs properly or how to pronounce long vowel properly. Yes. So, let's recap what we have learned so far. So far we have discussed about long vowel, short vowel and diphthongs. That means we are introduced with English sounds. Word and stress on words in sentences and we learned about reading aloud with proper pronunciation, stress and intonation. So now the homework part. Write down the sentences below in your notebook and then complete the list. Yes. So these are the sentences. Number one, mop the boat with soap. Lisa's coat is on the cot. The cop can cope with the road. I will not vote for a rot. Onik got a rock on his sock. So these are the five sentences. So what you need to find out? You need to find out which are the long vowel sound and which are the short vowel sound. Yes. So after completing this homework in a separate notebook, you must submit to your English teacher when your school opens. So it is a part of your continuous assessment. So follow the instructions of government and stay safe. Wash your hands again and again and stay home. To watch this class again, keep in touch with Facebook page and YouTube channel of Amar Ghare Amar School. Thank you very much.